going to recite The Creation by James Weldon Johnson. And God stepped out on space. And he looked around and said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything. Blacker than a hundred midnights down in a sacred swamp. Then God smiled. And the light broke. And the darkness rolled up on one side. And the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. Then God reached out and took the light in his hands. And God rolled that light around in his hands until he made the sun. And he set that sun ablaze in the heavens. And the light that was left from making the sun, God gathered it up into a shining ball and flung it against the darkness, spanning the night with the moon and the stars. Then down between the darkness and the light, he hurled the world. And God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down. And the sun was on his right hand and the moon was on his left. The stars were clustered about his head and the earth was under his feet. And God walked. And where he walked, his footsteps hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. Then he stopped and he looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So God stepped over to the edge of the world and he sped out the seven seas. He batted his eyes and the lightning flashed. He clapped his hand and the thunders rolled and the waters above the earth came down. The cooling waters came down. Then the green grass sprouted and the little red flowers blossomed. The pine tree pointed his finger to the sky, and the oak tree spread out his arms. The lakes cuddled down in the hollows of the ground, and the rivers ran down to the sea. God smiled again, and the rainbow appeared curled itself around his shoulder. Then God raised his arm and he waved his hand over the sea and over the land and he said, bring forth, bring forth. And quicker than God could drop his hand. Fishes and fowls and beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas, roamed the forest and the woods, and split the air with their wings. And God said, that's good. Then he talked around, and God looked around on all that he had made. He looked at his sun, and he looked at his moon, and he looked at his little stars. He looked on his world with all its living things, and God said, 
Anna Mistil. Then God sat down on the side of a hill where he could think. By a deep, wide river, he sat down. With his head in his hands, God thought and thought till he thought, I'll make me a man. Up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay. And by the bank of a river, he kneeled him down. And there, the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the star to the farmer's corner of the night, who rounded the earth and the middle of his hand, this great God, like a mother, bending over her baby, kneels down in the dust, toiling over a lump of clay till he shaped it in his own image. Then into it, he blew the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Amen. Amen.